Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to find out the solution of a problem which says, in this figure shows a conductor of length L having a circular cross section. The radius of a cross section varies linearly from A to B. The resistivity of the material is rho, assuming that B minus A is much less than L. Find the resistance of the conductor. So I have just redrawn this figure at somewhat bigger scale. So this is A and this is B. Now if this conductor is uniform and the area of cross section is throughout same across the length. So in that scenario resistance is rho L by A. But the problem here is length L is fine but the area is varying as we move from point let's say this is O and this is O dash. So if we move from O to O dash the area is increasing. So using the calculus method we can solve this problem. So first of all let's uh, draw a strip. Let's say this is a small strip of thickness dx. And the height of this strip is y. And let's say this is at a distance of x from O. So in that particular case, um, let's say this strip is entirely on this cross section. So the length of this particular strip is nothing but dx and the cross sectional area of this strip is going to be pi y square. So we can find the small resistance of this strip and then we will integrate across this length. So we will find the resistance of this conductor, right? So dr which is the small resistance of this strip is going to be rho. Now the L is dx upon the area is pi y square right now the y is changing as we move from o to o dash or we can say as x progresses the y increases so we will find the value of dy by dx here so to get that relation let's draw a line here and let's say this is angle theta so let's say this is point p this is point q and this is point r Let's say this point is, this small point is Q dash. Let's say this point is also a R dash. So in this triangle P Q dash R dash tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So base is X. So this length is X from O to R dash and the length. So the base height is A. The complete height was Y. So the remaining one is Y minus A, right? So the perpendicular is Y minus A. Also, tan theta is equal to, if we take the complete triangle, which is P, Q and R. So from this triangle, tan theta is equal to Q R upon P R, or I can say B minus A upon L and where L is the length of the conductor, right? So equating these two, we will get Y minus A upon X is equal to B minus A upon L. From this one, we will get L times Y minus A is equal to X times B minus A. So if we just multiply L Y minus L A is equal to X B minus X A. Let's find out the value of dy by dx here. So we differentiate Y with respect to X. So we'll get L times dy by dx minus L and A are constant. So they become zero is equal to this become B and this is A. So we'll get the value of dy by dx is B minus A by L, right? So the value of dx will be dy times L upon B minus A. Now we will put the value of dx in this relation. So the dr will become rho times dy into L upon B minus A, which is the value of dx into 1 upon pi y square. Further, if we rearrange this, dr is going to be rho upon b minus a times pi and into l into 1 upon y square into dy. This rho l upon b minus a into pi is constant and we will further integrate this relation from here 0 to r and here it is going to be a to b, right? So this will become, so dr integration is r, so this will become r 
rho l upon b minus a into pi here integration will become minus 1 upon y limit a to b and further this will become r is equal to rho l upon b minus a into pi upper limit minus lower limit so this is will become this one and if we solve that r is equal to rho l upon b minus a into pi so this will become b minus a upon a b or b minus a will cancel out so resistance will become rho l upon pi a b so this is the solution of this problem